Okay. So we're continuing Kingdom Hearts 358 over two days, the extra content, which is mission mode and challenge mode. So in between last stream and this one, I did actually a lot of grinding off screen. I grinded up the synthesis materials needed in order to create the reen I was going after, which is the <laughs> extreme reen. So this gives us a huge amount of extra EXP, but also makes it so we only have one HP. This is what I've been grinding on. So I've been using this, I've been replaying the final mission over and over again, and as you can see, I'm now level 70. I got quite a lot of experience points grinding off screen. I also got a lot of money and a lot of heart points by replaying old missions, and I've bought a bunch of stuff at the shop and synthesized a bunch of stuff at the shop. One thing I also did, and this is kind of the big one, but I didn't think people would really care if, to see me do it on screen, is I went back to the old missions that I played before and got all the treasure chests and all of the badges. So now I have all of the challenges unlocked, and I can play every mission in mission mode. And as you can see, we've got a new panel layout, but I think I'm going to change that up now that we're doing challenges. So this is my level grinding set of panels. But we're going to... well, actually we will... Store this as deck 2 just to save it. And now we're going to retrieve deck 1, which is the one I was working with earlier. Most of the treasure chests I missed had uh, just synthesis materials, but a few had sight units and a few had slot releasers as well. Oh wow, we actually have a lot of level ups to equip. Okay, we'll replace some of these generic casts of magic that we don't really need then. There we go. Oh yeah, level 70, that's, that's what we want to see. Another thing that I did is I grinded up enough heart points so that I can finally buy the Ultima Weapon, the Zero Gear. So we're going to buy that now. Didn't buy it ahead of time. I wanted to see see this blind. Give me that Zero Gear. Yes, please. Beautiful. Alright, where's that zero gear? It's going to be all the way at the bottom, isn't it? Alright. Here we go. That, just like that. Equip the free ability units. And probably a power unit? Yeah, power unit. So our abilities... Oh, it's the Kingdom Key Plus, eh? That's pretty generic. Damage Control Defender and Second Chance. Okay, those are pretty good abilities. Oh, this just looks like the regular old Keyblade, though. Okay, well, I mean, that's... that's fine. We have it. Um, what else? Oh, we have a new high jump level up, so we can jump even higher than before. Gotta equip that as well. We could equip Air Slide, but... nah. Or, we, are, we have the lower level Air Slide, that's fine. Okay, now we go to challenges, and we should have more challenges to complete, because I picked up some more of these uh, challenge badges. Finish in record time for the organization emblems. We could do that. Defeat the imposter in record... Oh, pfft. Let's try this. I was annoyed that I only got two... I only got two of these medals the last time I've tried. Oh, no, shoot, wait, hang on. No, 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 no. I forgot, I still have the Extreme Rain equipped. I do not want that. I do not really want to play with 1 HP. Even though playing with 1 HP does give you the advantage that you can do infinite limit breaks. Because you, you always have 1 HP worth of limit break, so you can just keep spamming those. But if you get hit once, you, you're dead. Not really about that. Critical Rain? Ooh... Let's try Critical Rain. What does, um... Came with Striker. Gain a boost in strength when your HP is low. Oh, that'll be great for limit breaks. Anyhow. Now we will try to defeat the Imposter and get the free badges for it. Yeah.
Why is my character's face just flashing? Oh no. Ah! I need to use the map more. <laughs> Ah, get back here! Ah. I hate his disappearing act. I'm pretty sure me... I'm pretty sure I'm gonna run out of time to finish in record time. Just because of the detour he took back to the start. Oh no. Come on, just... <sighs> he just guards everything. Darn it! Ugh, lost the sigil again. I hate that mission. You just can't attack him. <laughs> he blocks everything. Alright, forget that. Uh, avoid taking damage while taking on the, the giant Heartless. Um, I'd rather not... Let's try eliminating the imposter in record time, instead of just chasing him. At least this way we get some badges. You know, the Zero Gear... Its combos just aren't that good. I was really expecting more from the ultimate weapon. I mean, it is very powerful, but still. Alright, I think... I think they're at the old mansion. If I remember this mission correctly, which I hope I do. Oh no, never mind. Oh, that's right, it's eliminating... Not the imposter, but Shion. Stop warping around. Yeah, I hate these missions because the cloaked people just constantly teleport away from you. Makes them really annoying to try to take out. Oh, where did they freaking go? Excuse me, can I please stay locked on to them? Wow, I... This is not fun. I can't tell where... Are you kidding me? You literally just teleported away to avoid my limit break. Also, how am I this low on HP?
Uh, stop getting stuck on the wall! Alright, that's the end of the mission, right? Okay, good. There we go. Free challenge sigils, free range techs. Wonderful. That's it for Twilight Town for now. Um... Oh, I hate the Emerald Serenade mission. We aren't doing that. Vanquish the Heartless... Enemy level was 22! NH... Are you... What? You guys see us. The whole point is avoid taking damage. HP drains while you're on the ground. So basically... We can't touch the ground. Probably should have picked a different Keyblade for this. And this is the... Yep, these guys. The Crimson Pranksters. Yeah, I should have gone for the lift gear. Oh my gosh, this keyblade has awful air combo. Two hit air combos? Really? That's right. You can only have one magic spell on screen at a time, even if it's something that, like, stays on screen for ten minutes. So you really have to kill these guys at around the same time. Otherwise, you're in for a lot of trouble. Darn it. <sighs> yeah. I can't have zero gear for that fight. I gotta have the lift gear. Or th sorry, the nimble gear plus, I guess. I guess another Fundaga won't hurt. Well, actually, I can't equip it. Alright, let's try this. This key this Keyblade has really good air combos, so we should be able to stay in the air for a very long time. Oh man, but that's a weak Keyblade. I'm dealing like no damage to them. How did that miss? Alright, no, we're not doing that either. Wow, okay, I'm just not doing that challenge then. At least not now. Not until I get a better strategy. Five sight units? Is there even a weapon that you can equip those all to? Seems a little strange. Okay, let's go... We can eliminate the deserters in a record amount of time in uh, in Olympus, I, f I would think. Alright, let's try it.
So much for a round block. There we go. This is what I'm looking for. Yes, keep coming to me. <laughs> Wrong one. Nope. Stop walking onto the dang freaking stinking barrel and kill the stupid deserter. Stop walking onto the barrel, you dumb butt. That's like the slowest thing you could walk onto. And he like has a really high priority to walk onto that over anything else. Alright. That should be all free sigils, though. Yay! Free sigils. Wonderful. Don't miss with attacks and eliminate the Morning Star. You know what? Let's try it. No attack... Oh, no attack magic. That sucks. That actually really sucks. Because that means we're gonna have to just guard him constantly. And have to worry about these stupid cannons as well. Wow! Yeah, lock onto literally anything but the boss! Sure! My god, the lockout system in this game is absolutely crap. The boss was, like, right in front of me, and he was like, lock onto the barrels? Okay. Wait, what do you mean I lost the sigil? I, I never missed with my attacks! I never missed my attacks, though. I call bull on that. I hit him with every single swing of the Keyblade. Zigbar, I leave this to you. It better not be like, oh, did Zigbar miss with his attacks? Oh, well, uh, that also counts. Because I have no power over that. <laughs> Unless I just turn him to set to do absolutely nothing. on it but I, I hit him but it phased are you that's annoying I hit him with my attack but it phased through him and it didn't count well now I know why this one's outlined in gold so am I literally just gonna have to do one hit combos on him just to make sure I hit with them because that would suck well, so why can I not use attack magic that you can pick one rule not 12. Are you No, I'm not doing this. Roxas is so bad, and he will literally just miss with his attacks randomly. Can you even do that? Because Roxas just has a 50% chance of missing with his attack, even if you're point-blank from him. Avoid taking damage from the Heartless Fred. Did it just say my level's capped at 20 and I can't use magic? But what's left?
Yep, no attack magic. Level capped at 20. Oh no, and I have to go for the games, don't I? Oh, this... I thought the whole, the whole point of challenge mode would be to, like, in, include some fun challenges for the game. These are just, like, not fun challenges. So I can't take damage, I can't use attack magic, I'm a really low level, and I have to kill a bunch of fans. This seems very balanced and fair. Is this not the one where there's, like, 800 ghosts that attack you and you basically can't do anything about it? Yep, this is the one where there's 800 ghosts, and they attack you, and there's nothing you can do about it. Exhibit A. Roxas. Like, look at this. He, I am literally point-blank from these guys, and Roxas is still missing. This isn't even, like, on me. This is literally just the in-game controls are so ridiculously bad when it comes to hitting it. Ugh. Okay, so half of these missions... Half of these challenges are just going to be almost unplayable. Alright, we'll collect hearts in record time. Let's do the easy missions. Oh my goodness. Oh no, is this the one where we have to follow Pete? Do we have to follow Pete in record time? We sure as cuss do. Who thought this was a good idea for a mission? They can't even... They literally won't even want to skip past this. It's literally just, nope, you have to tail Pete. Just to get to the mission. My god, this is... I should have done mission mode. All those cha all of those challenge sigils that I went out of the way to grab, only for them to reveal... Oh, but the challenges are really, really, really bad. You probably shouldn't have picked those up. Which is a shame, because some of the challenges actually are pretty fun. Are you... Thank goodness Pete is legally blind. So if you end up not getting all three sigils on this, you have to replay this really crappy stealth portion every single time. This game really could use a remake and, f and fine-tune a lot of these... Um, questionable design decisions. I love how Pete has an HP bar, even though we can't attack him. Look, I know where the secret cave is. Do I have to follow him? That was weird. There's an invisible wall when I was gliding. I literally have to examine it. Yep, I had to examine it before it would let me hit it. Wow. Just 
Just open the dang door. Oh, come on. Ah. I'm gonna lose the sigil for that, aren't I? I hope not. There's more in the main room. There better be more in the main room. I'm not climbing up that room. Why do I have to climb up the room? Are you serious? I there were not I did not have to do that in the first time I went here. And then the pillar reset its location for absolutely no reason. What do you mean? Are you see I have to unlock the door again? Are you serious? This game is really trying to push all my buttons, isn't it? This is not good. Um, there was not any enemies in here when I I literally did another sweep. Are you serious? I literally looked in the whole room, then they weren't there. Okay, we are getting out right now. We are getting out right now, and we're going to run out of a sigil, because of course we will. Thanks for changing the camera completely. Now enemies appear in town. Granted, I wouldn't get heart points for them, but still. Okay, do not. Do not take away one of my sigils. Okay, thank God. Okay, good, good, good. We're out. I can't believe we didn't run out of a sigil, because we actually wasted a lot of time. But alright, some are just really... Okay. Fill up the mission gauge on this one. We can do this. Because we have max high jump. Oh, never mind. We don't even have to go to the, uh, cave. Okay, well, yeah, this this shouldn't be too hard. Shouldn't be in the keyword here, obviously. No heartless in this room at all? That doesn't really add up. You can't tell me every heartless is in this room. Or maybe they can tell me every heartless is in this room.
I'm confused. Where are the rest of the Heartless, then? I've noticed that your party members have a tendency to disappear and then warp right on top of you when you're gliding, which actually makes you go down a little lower. It's a bit obnoxious. I literally entered this room, and there was nothing here. Oh my gosh. A single fire took out like four bars of HP. Wow! Okay, Zero Gear is not that great when it comes to hitting enemies, but it's pretty darn powerful. That was an incredibly easy challenge. Challenges are wildly inconsistent with how difficult they are. Alright, I'll take it, though. That works for me. Uh, finish your record time, de uh, defeat the Aerial Masters. Okay, yeah, we can try that. Aerial Masters are all in the uh, desert, if memory serves. Or maybe not. Oh, never mind, there's one. Most of them are in the desert, though. No, don't heal him! No, you butt! stop teleporting away from me when I'm trying to deal high damage. Those are regular enemies. Where are the air ma There we go. Oh, nice job, Demix. That was really good. And there we go. See, these missions are actually kind of fun. Or it's just do it fast. The ones where it's like, oh, not only do you have to do it fast, you can't miss with your attacks, and your level's capped at 10, and all the enemies are way stronger, and, um, whatever, Fane. Oh, yeah, you can't use magic. It's like, at that point, what's left? At that point, you're basically just stripping the fun out of it. All right, eliminate the solid armor in record time. We can do that, I think. Well, we can try. Come, Zaldin. I think it capped my level at 20, though, which is not good. Oh, especially in here, because other armors appear as well. I forget which type of magic is needed to knock him over. And there we go. Fandaga is great. A lot of these get a lot easier if you wait till after you're a really high level. There we go. Three more sigils for me. Excellent. I'm... Mm, finish your record... Okay, place the device in record time. We can try that. It's one of the last missions. I know where to go now.
Defeat all the Heartless, eh? Oh yeah, they definitely cut my level up by a lot here. Oh wow, that's a lot of damage. But so is that. Alright, in here. Place the device. Oh no, the land armor. This is going to be the tough, the tough part, the land armor. Come on, hit him with this already. Hit him with it already! Thank you. If I'm at 1 HP, this is great, because I can just keep doing limit breaks over and over again. But eventually, I'm going to run out of arrow. Alright, there we go. Now, I think we just get teleported straight out, which would be great. No. Of course we don't. Are we kid? I already lost the sigil? Really? If you if you reduce my level to level tw like 10 or 20, that's the fastest I can do it. Well, at least I get at least I get two sigils. That still means I have to go back and do that again later, which is not fun. All right, uh, pff, break the jars in record time. Okay, I think we can do this one. Seems like a reasonable thing we can do. If you don't stand on it like a goofus! I, I really hate Roxas sometimes. He controls so badly. No, don't lock on to the only enemies on screen. You lock on to the jars, which we actually have to break. Break the dang jar! Break the dang jar! Break the dang jar, you butt! My gosh, the interface in this game is really, really bad at times. You gotta love it how he always prioritizes hitting stuff like barrels when you don't want him to do that, but when you actually do, he doesn't. Yeah. 
It's like the interface is always configured to make it as annoying for you as possible. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I hate... I really hate the don't miss of attacks missions. I'm gonna need to find a way to do that more reliably. Probably find a keyblade to fall in range. Okay. Let's redeem our sigils for new prizes. We get... Ooh, a haste level. Rage gear. Haha, <laughs> that's appropriate. Given what just happened. Ooh. Those are all good prizes. As for the crowns, we're coming up on High Eifers, Mystery Gear, and another slot releaser. Okay. Well, there we go. Alright, well, time is now up. I would say we cleared a lot of challenges, and to a certain extent we did, but we also had far more rage than I am proud of. I, I apologize, everybody. It's not good for me to rage at this game, but doggone it, when... <sighs> When stuff happens and it's not my fault, it's literally just the game being dumb. That really gets in, under my skin, and I don't really know why. But anyways, we at least made some progress, so I consider that a win. I'm going to end the stream here. Thank you all for joining in. I hope you guys enjoyed my rage, at the very least. And we will be streaming Wednesday. More Backyard Baseball and more of this afterwards. So tune in for that if you want. It's always a fun time. Anyhow, hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your night, and God bless.